Hey, what's up everybody? My name is D and welcome to Smart and Good Channels. And today in this video, I'll share with you guys how to create a website for a bicycle shop. Okay, let's get started. Before we get started, first let me show you the website we are going to build today. As you can see right here, we have a very nice designs website to uh, display your bicycles, inventories, accessories, and uh, your services. Okay, as you can see right here, we have the uh, shop section. If we uh, click on the uh, products right here, as you can see, this is the uh, landing page for the products where we can uh, add the products to the cart. We can uh, check out the carts right here and uh, the person can enter the uh, coupon if they have it uh, or they can just uh, proceed to check out right here then the uh, customer can enter their first name last name phone numbers and stuff like that and later on i'll show you guys how to uh, set up this uh, payment gateway so you can accept uh, credit debit cards on your website so this is a great website to uh, uh, sell your bicycle online to uh, show to displace your uh, bicycles inventory and uh, the best thing about this website is that you can even do drop shipping for your website so you can uh, go to aliexpress and we can import some products into our websites so in a little bit after i show you guys how to uh, install this website i'll show you guys how to uh, import products from aliexpress also and i already create a series of videos show you guys how to uh, drop ship on ebay how to uh, drop ship on your website how to link the products from our website to uh, facebook to uh, google shopping so I'll, I'll put the link in the video description so you guys can uh, check it out okay so if you want to install this website right here all you have to do is just uh, go to smartandgood.com once you are here you can uh, go to the uh, theme library and if you uh, scroll all the way down, you will see the uh, template right here. You can uh, click right here to view the template to make sure this is the uh, template that you want to uh, sign up for. Okay, so this is the one and we can uh, click right here to use this template. You can get started for just $10 a month. With this plan right here, you are getting a basic domain name, hosting, SSL certificates, premium themes and a premium plugin like the uh, drop shippings but with this plan right here if you want a custom domain name you can uh, choose this one right here and if you already have a domain name you can choose this plan right here but uh, let me show you what it will look like when you choose the uh, premium domain name all you have to do is just uh, click on it then you can enter the uh, site title right here okay over here you can enter the uh, url for your website and as you can see right here this is your basic domain name but if you uh, continue to the next step then you can pick the uh, premium domain name if you choose the premium plan and as you can see right here these domain names are already taken but these are available so if you scroll down we cannot do this one right here okay for example but because this is an example so i'm going to uh, skip this step okay now all you have to do is just uh, create an account if you have a coupon, you can enter it right here, or you can uh, click right here to agree with the term of services and then uh, create an account. Make sure you remember this information because you are going to use it to log into your websites later. Now, all you have to do is just uh, click right here to activate the websites. All you have to do is just enter your email, your card's information, uh, the name of the cards, your billing address. Then uh, you can uh, click right here to activate the website. Okay, so after you check out with Stripe Secure Payment Gateway, you will get redirected to the uh, dashboards. And uh, this is our dashboard right here. We can uh, click over here to switch a template, or we can uh, go over here to see our account summary. If you have a domain name, you can go over here and you can enter your domain name right here, but you have to go back to your domain provider. Then you need to create an A record, point to this IP address right here. Once you do that, all you have to do is just hit set custom domain okay let's uh hover your mouse over here and we can go over here to check out the uh, front end of the website okay to make the changes for the front end of this website there are a couple of ways we can do it 
if you want to change the headers over here or if you want to change these uh, footers over here we can uh, click on the uh, customizers button right here but if you want to change like the big sections down here uh, we can uh, click on the uh, edit with Elementor as you can see over here if you hover your mouse over here we'll see the uh, pencil icon we can uh, click on it to uh, make the uh, direct changes for this logo right here if you don't have the logo let me show you how to create a free logo for your website all you have to do is just go to canva.com okay once you are here you can go to the uh, design spotlight and look for logo now you can get started for free but if you want the pro versions like i do have now please check out the link i put in the video description thank you so much and as you can see right here they have thousands of pre-built designs as you can see right here and we can just simply find the one we like click on it customize this template and we can uh, click directly on this one okay we can reboot the background now we can uh, click right here go to uh, download and we can choose the uh, file type I usually choose the uh, PNG file so we can uh, click on this uh, transparent background and uh, download the file now we can go back to our website and uh, we can uh, click right here to change the logo click right here to upload the logo or we can just simply uh, drag the logo into uh, your website and uh, we can uh, click right here to edit the image and uh, we can even uh, click right here to crop the image just like that when you're done hit crop then save then we can uh, update this image go back to our customizer choose this uh, image right here and you can even enter the uh, different uh, text logo for your website when you're done you can uh, click right here to publish and if you want to make the custom for this uh, menu right here you can uh, click right here you can uh, go to uh, configure this menu and you can choose the uh, menu okay edit menu and uh, we can just uh, drag it to make the changes just like that or we can add a new item okay you can uh, click right here to remove it if you don't like it and as you can see right here we have the uh, my account right here and we can hover over here and we can uh, set it up for our shop then uh, we can uh, go back and hit publish all you have to do is just spend 20 30 minutes to create the websites then you know exactly uh, how to run the website for your business doing it this way you can save up to 350 dollars instead of hiring a web designer to build the website for you you can just spend 20 30 minutes and uh, you know exactly how to run the website for your business okay and uh, let's uh, go over here and if you want to edit these big uh, sections right here you can uh, click on edit with Elementor okay as you can see right here we can uh, click on these items right here and we can make direct changes for these uh, titles and uh, right here we can uh, click on the uh, button and we can enter the link so it can take the uh, customers to different parts of our website and uh, if you scroll down we can make the changes for these uh, sections right here we can just simply uh, click right here to make the changes for the layout okay and uh, we can uh, even uh, go to our style we can change the uh, background image right here we can choose the uh, color okay as you can see right here and uh, we can change the uh, positions okay just like that so uh, these sections right here has a very nice parallax effects and if you scroll all the way down here you see this section right here where you can import google reviews straight to your website now let me show you how to uh, do this first we need to go back to our dashboard over here and uh, if you scroll down we can go to the uh, trustindex.io now you can uh, click on the uh, connect google platform because i already connected to a demo profile so i'm going to uh, disconnect this one right here and uh, we can uh, click right here to connect our Google Business Profile. Enter your Google Business Profile name. Okay, we can uh, click right here to uh, connect it. Okay, now we can pick the uh, layout. Now we can pick a different style for our Google reviews. Okay, now we can uh, make some uh, last settings for our widgets. As you can see over here we can uh, show only the four or five star or only five stars right here 
and over here we cannot click to uh, show verify review icon as you can see right here this is the icon when you are done all you have to do is just uh, click on the uh, save and get code we can go over here and copy the code go back to uh, Elementor's editor and uh, we can go over here click on this one right here we can uh, paste in the code right here or if you want to add a new section you can uh, go over here look for a short code if you want to uh, add the um, Google review right here you can just uh, drag the uh, short code over here and you can enter these short codes right here and now uh, once you are done you can uh, click right here to update okay now what happened if you want to uh, add uh, Aliexpress products into your websites all you have to do is just uh, go back to your dashboard over here and if you scroll down you will see Ali to woo click on the uh, setting and over here I already entered these uh, premium purchase code over here but uh, what you need to do is uh, get the uh, Chrome extension and you need to install it for your Google Chrome but as you can see right here I already installed so uh, uh, let me show you how to uh, connect so first uh, what you need to do is uh, go to uh, your API key over here and you need to add a new key once you uh, add the new key you can uh, copy this key right here and we need to go to ali to woo chrome extension as you can see right here we can uh, right click on it go to the option and we can paste this right here at the store then we can uh, click right here to uh, authenticate as you can see it just uh, authenticates successfully now we can go to the aliexpress and uh, we can uh, look for the products we want to sell on our website let's say if you want to sell bicycles accessory right you can go to the um, outdoor funds okay bicycles and uh, for example we can do the uh, filters over here we can do the uh, ship from so uh, this case we can locate all of these US uh, suppliers doing it this way we can uh, shorten the uh, shipping time you know and as you can see right here we can uh, click right here to import the uh, products and as you can see over here it's just uh, doing the work right now and it just uh, imported successfully you can uh, click right here to open the import list on your website now you can uh, go over here to make the changes as you can see right here you can choose the uh, category on your website what happens if you want to add a new category on your uh, store you can uh, go over here and you can go to the uh, category and we can add a new category for your website now I already create a series of tutorials to show you guys how to do the uh, e-commerce online store uh, the drop shipping how to sync products to eBay and stuff like that so I put the link in the video description so you guys can uh, check it out so I'm just uh, going over the uh, process of what you can do with the websites okay now you can make the changes for the uh, titles right here you can uh, shorten the um, title and uh, you can enter the tags for your products and uh, over here we can uh, make the changes for the descriptions so this is the exact descriptions that we pull from Aliexpress and uh, as you can see we even pull the uh, images and uh, if you don't like the images uh, on your descriptions you can go over the images and if you scroll down you can uh, untick this uh, descriptions images box right here now as you can see over here we can put the uh, specs from Aliexpress to our website and over here is the variations and uh, this is how much it's going to cost us and this is how much for shipping and uh, this is the price you are selling if you want to make the changes for these uh, prices right here you can go over here you can uh, set a new value and to, for example it was uh, twenty dollars okay but now you are selling it for uh, eighteen dollars okay apply and uh, this is how much we are making for this uh, transaction okay so over here is the inventory and the inventory doesn't look real so we can uh, click right here set a new value we can enter the numbers like uh, three for example enter and just like that we can make the changes for these variation and you can go to the images and if you want to uh, choose a uh, profile pictures you can uh, just simply uh, click right here to make it a main image okay once you are done you can uh, click right here to push to your shop and uh, we can go over here click right here to uh, view the uh, front end of the website and if you go to the uh, shop scroll down you will see it right here 
and uh, if you click on this uh, products right here as you can see right here it says sales because uh, the products were twenty dollars and we make it uh, eighteen dollars so it just uh, give us this nice label right here and then uh, we have the uh, variations right here okay we have the uh, colors we have the size and the system just create a skill for us okay for this products right here and uh, this is the uh, descriptions as you can see and uh, right here we have the additional information which is the uh, specs that we import earlier okay and if we scroll down we'll see the uh, related products because we put it in the same category so it just uh, generated automatically okay let's uh, go back to our dashboard and if you scroll down and we go to the alley to wool setting you can go over here and make changes for your uh, dropshipping business you can change the uh, language the currency the uh, products type i'll leave it here for you to check it out uh, so it's very simple it's very straightforward we can go to the uh, pricing rule right here and we can change our uh, rule right here so for the products it's going to multiply by uh, 2.75 okay so this is the price we are going to sell okay we can uh, click right here to save so the next time when you import a new product to the website, we can uh, click right here to import the products. Click open it. And uh, if you click on the uh, variations, as you can see right here, so it's going to be the cost of the products multiplied by 2.75. So this is it right here. Okay, so this is going to be our profits. So it's going to be the same process to add AliExpress products to our website. Are right, you guys that's it for this video I just wanted to uh, show you guys a simple way to uh, create a website for your bicycle shop uh, doing it this way you can easily create a website for your business and if you have any trouble or any issue you have somebody there to uh, support your business so I want to uh, thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe to our uh, support to my channel I will be very appreciated thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video if you want me to build the website for you, feel free to contact me. Thank you, you guys. See you in the next one.